Mental health is a top workforce concern today. According to the World Health Organization, approximately 12 billion workdays are lost each year to conditions such as depression and anxiety. Dr. Joe Grasso, Senior Director of Workforce Transformation at Lyra Health, joins us now to talk about why putting mental health at the center of the workplace is so important, more now than ever. Good morning. Great getting a chance to talk with you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. You know, people are finding it harder to go to work and be productive. So what did your 2023 State of the Workforce Mental Health Report reveal about what is happening in our workplace? You know, it revealed, I think, something that will resonate with a lot of folks watching today. Uh, mental health issues are very common. We found that 86% of adult workers were dealing with some form of mental health struggle within the past year, but only 33% were getting some form of care or treatment. And when you couple this with the fact that 60% of workers said that their mental health affects their ability to work, it really becomes clear that this is an issue that everyone, both the employee and the employer, need to prioritize. Right, it sounds like it. So now this new study also shows that managers are bearing the brunt of this mental health crisis. Why is that and what should companies do to change this? Yep, it's, it's true. Managers are really feeling the pinch because they have leadership expectations around how much the team produces and meeting business goals, but they also have pressure now from their teams who have a greater expectation of a manager protecting them from risk of burnout or work-related mental health distress. And so what this means is that managers need some more support from their organizations around training and tools that are gonna help them lead their teams in ways that reduce the risk of work causing needless stress or burnout. Well, could you share some strategies with us on how managers can protect their own mental health and the mental health of their teams? Yeah, it's a great question. The good news is that when managers are taking steps to prioritize their own mental health at work, it can actually be a win-win for the manager and the team. So doing things like making sure to take your vacation days and when you take your vacation you're fully disconnected or offline from work modeling what it looks like to put boundaries around your work so that you're not responding to emails late into the night and also making sure that when you have a complex problem or a really tricky situation you're dealing with you model what it looks like to ask for help so that you don't go it alone yeah, Doing that, all of these things in a way that's visible to the team is really helpful. Yeah, that is key, asking for help. Any other tips you have for us on how we as individual workers can protect our mental health? I would just encourage everyone to be mindful of changes in your mood, your thinking, or your behavior in ways that feel unusual or concerning to you. Don't let those signs pass you by. And when you notice those signs, talk with someone, a friend, a family member, try things like exercise or meditation. But if those self-initiated uh, activities don't cut it, be ready to reach out for professional support because it can make all the difference. It really can. Well, Dr. Grasso, thanks so much for sharing this with us today on Studio 3. Thank you, Susan. Mm -hmm.